So in this exercise, we got the following um, set uh, formed by n tuples, where is defined in, in this form such that you got one element that is repeated n times. Okay, so basically what you got here is a tuple, n tuple with n elements but that are basically n copies of just one element, in this case, x. And x is a real number, <clears throat> okay? So this is the form of the vectors on this uh, vector space, and we need to prove that it is a vector space. Just to give, a, give you an example, this is one of the elements of this uh, vector space. One, one, and you repeat this n times. The same here, two, 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 two n times. So you got n of the n copies of the same element. Just to um, mention, here's the notation that, that I am going to use to prove uh, each of the axioms for the vector space. I'm going to consider u, v, and w as elements, as vectors in this vector space, and k and m are going to be just real numbers or scalars. Okay, so the first thing that we need to prove is the close of the sum operation. So that means if I take an element on u and an element v and I sum them up, then the element is also part of this set vs, this vector space. So let's define u as alpha, n copies of alpha, and v as beta, and these repeated n times. So what happens if we sum this together, what we obtain is u plus v equals to alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta, alpha plus beta, and so on, n times. So the point to be part of the set vs is that all the elements are the same. We got here n copies of the same element. So that means that yes, this is part of Vs, and that means that this uh, space is closed under the summation operation. The next thing, the next axiom actually that we need to prove is the uh, commutativity of the sum operation. That means if we take u plus b, in this case, we know the, the, the result is alpha plus beta n times, if we define as before, u is just n copies of alphas, and sorry, u. u is just n copies of alphas, and v is just n copies of betas. So we got this. The sum of u plus b is a plus b repeated n times, and v plus u is beta plus alpha repeated at n times. Here, what is important is that alpha and beta are real numbers. So alpha and beta are itself real numbers. That means that the sum of these two elements commute. So we can uh, exchange the elements of each of the elements that are just repeated uh, versions of beta plus alpha. So this at the end becomes alpha plus beta repeated n times. And as you can see, both are equal. That means that yes, the first, the second action holds. That is the commutativity of the sum operation. The next, we need to prove associativity. So here we proceed in the same way. I'm going to define now W as gamma, repetitions of gammas. So U plus V plus W will be here a vector just made of alphas plus here we'll have beta plus gamma repeated n times and here we need to sum these two vectors so is the is defined in the usual way so we got alpha plus beta plus gamma repeated n times
Now let's see what happened with the right hand side of this uh, expression, this part here. So u plus v plus w, this is going to be alpha plus beta repeated n times plus the vector of gammas, n copies of gammas. And then uh, we need to sum these vectors, alpha plus beta plus gamma, repeated n times. It is important to mention that I can do this of just summing each component because that's how is defined the, the summation in this vector space. And all the vectors have the same size. If, for example, some of these vectors doesn't have an, a size n, then we can have problems. But in this case, all the vectors are of the same size. So there is no problem to sum just uh, component by component as we are doing here. So you can see that both of these expressions are the same. That means that yes, they have the associate, they satisfy the associativity property. Now we need to define the zero vector. The zero vector in this vector space, it's going to be uh, just the zero repeated n times, just this zero vector. And we can show that this is the zero vector. We pick u plus the zero vector is going to be alpha repeated n times plus zero repeated n times as well. When we sum this together, we obtain alpha plus zero repeated n times, but this at the end is just alpha repeated n times. So that's enough to prove that this is the zero vector and that exists because it's just a repetition of elements. It satisfies the condition of this vector space. So yes, it satisfies the fourth action. The next is we need to show what's going to be the inverse, that the inverse should all also live in this vector space. So if we defined u, as n copies of alphas, then we're going to define minus u, which is going to be the inverse, as my copies of minus alphas. And then when we sum this together, when we sum these two vectors, u plus minus u, what we obtain is alpha minus alpha on each of the components. And this will result on n copies of zeros. And we know that this corresponds to the zero vector. So that means that u minus defining in this way is the inverse of the vector. And all the elements are the same. So that means that minus u is part of the vector space. So great. Then we need to prove that uh, this uh, vector space is closed uh, under scaling multiplication. So here k, remember, is just a scalar or a real number. So, and the multiplication is defined in the usual way. That means that k times u will be k alpha, k alpha, so on, n times. And this, as you can see, is just a repetition of the same element. So they are part of this vector space. So Great, it satisfies the sixth condition, axiom. Now we need to show the associativity, the, sorry, the distributivity property of uh, an scalar with vectors, okay? So k times u plus b is equals to k times the vector alpha plus beta repeated n times. And this is equals to k will multiply each of the components of the vector of these vectors because is the is the is a, a scalar product is defined in the usual way. So we got k times alpha plus beta repeated n times. 
And these elements here, each of the each of the components of this vector are just real numbers. And we know that the real numbers satisfy the uh, distributivity property. That means that this becomes k alpha plus k beta, k alpha plus k beta, and this repeated n times, k alpha plus k beta. And look, he, we, here we can separate. This will be just the summation of k alpha dot 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 k alpha plus k beta repeated n times. And this is just k times the vector u plus k times the vector b as expected. So great is also satisfied. Now we need to show the distributivity property between of a, a vector along uh, scalars. So k plus m will be just another scalar times u. This multiplication here will be k plus m times alpha k plus m times alpha repeated n times. k plus m alpha, that's it. And then we can, they are just uh, real numbers so they can distribute, they satisfy this, the distributivity property and we obtain here k alpha plus m alpha repeated n times. And we can separate this into vectors that are k alpha repeated n times plus m alpha repeated n times. And now you can observe what's happening. This is equals to KU and this part here is KV. So the eight axioms also holds. Then we got this uh, associativity property with the scalars. So KMU this is going to be equals to k times the vector m alpha repeated n times. And then we multiply this vector by k, and what we obtain is k m alpha repeated n times. And on the right hand side of this expression, we got k m times u. This will define another scalar, so we can multiply all these together with the vector u and we obtain k m alpha repeated n times. And you can see that both of these expressions are the same. So yes, the axiom nine is satisfied, great. And the last one that is quite trivial is just the one, the identity element on the scalars that is just defined as the one, so one times the vector of alphas will be just the same vector of alphas, and this will be equals to u. So it holds as well. So as a conclusion is that this vector space, this set Vs together with the sum and usual scalar multiplication on vectors is a vector space.